Hey, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be telling you how I became Tinder top 30 most right swiped on the platform in the UK and Ireland. So, quick introduction, my name is James Langton, I am the founder of Data Help. Um, I basically create uh, amazing dating app profiles for you, the bio, I can edit the photos, dating app coaching, and just sort of general dating coaching. I'll post a link in the description to the Data Help website, and please check it out, and also remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It means so much to me, because I'm always putting out new content around you know, the area of dating, and it would just be amazing for you guys to follow me. So, without further ado, let's get into it, and this is how I became the Tinder top 30 most right swiped on the platform. Okay guys, so here is the Cosmopolitan magazine. So here's the start of the article, just showing the Tinder top 30. Uh, so it says, want to know what takes to be successful at dating? Let Tinder's most popular in the UK and Ireland singles show you how. So I am on page. So there's my photo. Back in maybe March, April of 2019, I was just on my computer at work and uh, I got an email from Tinder to say, hey, uh, we want to inform you, you're one of the most right swipe people you know, in the UK and Ireland on the platform. So I've got my laptop here and I'm gonna read the exact email out. So it was from Tinder Direct and they say, uh, I won't read the whole thing out because at the end of the day, I don't want people to recreate this kind of email and like scam people with it. So I'll just read out a few bits of it. Hey James, we're excited to inform you that you have been designated as one of 2019's most popular men on Tinder in the UK. While we're sure you're excited to share this news with family, friends and colleagues and potential dates, we ask you to keep the news confidential until we can confirm your participation are ready to release the news. Tinder is partnering with leading glossy magazine Cosmopolitan once again to reveal 2019's hottest people and what makes for the perfect profile. According to the performance of your profile, you are one of the most popular users and we would love to consider you for this feature. Can you let us know if you're interested in participating or learning more? So after this, it goes on to say you'll be featured in an upcoming Cosmopolitan print issue and online um, and you'll also be asked to participate in creation of additional media including a photo shoot in central London for photos and videos which, be, which will be exhibited on various websites, digital platforms and other media. You will also be invited to an exclusive event co-hosted by Tinder and Cosmopolitan. Pretty cool stuff. So after I received this email, I wasn't actually 100% sure whether it was real, so I reached out to Tinder directly and said, hey, I've received this email and they said, yep, that's true. And at this point I was a little bit shocked and uh, they arranged to you know, speak to me over the phone, ask me about my dating experiences, who I am, how I find Tinder, that kind of thing. So we had a couple of phone calls back and forth and they asked me to come to their London studio to participate in the photo shoot with Cosmopolitan magazine, which I did. It was a really cool experience. Um, I'll include some photos now of some behind the scenes. So here's one of me receiving some makeup and then here is a shot of the studio. We were told not to take many photos and we weren't allowed to put them online purely because it was a big camp campaign for Tinder, they wanted us to keep it secret. So I couldn't really tell anybody or post anything you know, about this on, on Instagram or whatever. So after we did the photo shoot, I didn't really hear that much back from them for quite a few months because obviously the campaign was for later in the year. It's for September's issue of Cosmopolitan. And then when September the 1st came, literally midnight, Daily Mail, The Sun, The Evening Standard, Metro, literally all of the major UK press picked up on this story. And I'll show you guys some print screens from some of the blog posts. As you can see, some pretty cool media features. So after this, I was contacted by loads of local media and also radio stations. I was on BBC Radio, also Capital Radio here in the UK. Not only this, I actually did quite a few features for the local news blogs. And then I even got asked to do like a reality TV series, which I kind of didn't really want to do because I don't know, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. And instead of that, I actually went traveling for seven months instead. So I didn't really have the time either. But since September last year, I've been working so hard on learning the algorithms that run dating apps and also ways to improve profiles and generally just to help people on dating apps. So I've also been a photographer 
mainly sort of fashion, uh, weddings, automotive, that kind of thing for the last maybe eight to nine years. And this has led me to have some really, really good skills for editing photos, retouching them, that kind of thing. So combine this with understanding of digital marketing, photo editing, and also I'm pretty good at creative writing, if I say so myself. I can actually write really good dating app profiles. So that is my story of how I became the Tinder top 30 most right swiped in the UK and Ireland. Thanks so much for watching and please remember to like this video and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. I work really hard on these videos and if you guys follow me on Instagram as well, that would be super cool. Also, I'll post a link in the description to the Data Help website. So if you guys need any help with improving your profile or some dating coaching, please hit the link below. Thanks so much.